Well, I start with the idea, such as the one I described. Yeah, the plot. The plot. And not the plot. The question. With the question. Right. And then I s try to figure out what kinds of people can manifest that for me, can do that for me. Do I need men or women or short people or tall people? What should they be? That's right. And set that up. And then I have to fully realize the characters and sort of love them without approving of them necessarily, but really love them in my earnest desire is whomever they are, is to do them justice. Beloved, what was the question? The question was, who is the beloved? Who is the person who lives inside us that is the one you can trust, who is the best thing you are? And in that instant, for that segment, because I had planned several books around that theme, it was the effort of a woman to love her children, to raise her children, to be responsible for her children. And the fact that it was during slavery made all of those things impossible for her. She couldn't do it. She couldn't be a mother. Yeah. Because, and there was this interesting historical incident, you know, the Margaret Garner story, in which that actually happened. There was a great deal of infanticide in order to prevent her from living a life she believed would be intolerable. But that's her claim, you know, kind of a control that she was trying to exercise in order to be simply a mother and that the best thing she was, was this lovely child or these children. And of course that set her on a very complicated self-destructive journey, but the question was still there. And the answer, or at least the other question that's delivered is when somebody asks her or tells her, no, no, you, are your best thing. You are. Is this journey painful for you? Yeah. Oh, sure. Especially. Well, the slavery stuff yeah. is terrible because it's not, it's one thing to sort of know historically, abstractly, conceptually, generally what it was like, but imagining that life, which is sort of entering it very fundamentally is very very difficult for me and the only thing that made it really possible to stay there you know was just little things just knowing that you couldn't see your husband yeah. in the daytime only at night only when the sun was up because people worked from sun up to sundown the only thing that made it really possible for me was thinking well i didn't have to do it i just had to imagine it so i can't be too self-regarding and precious about all that. If they could do it, I could write about it. I mean, I could get tough enough. You say that you found out I mean, this notion that slavery existed for 300 years. You gave it that length, that time. And 60 million people died because of slavery. I asked around, trying to get figures. Some people said, I don't know, less. 200 million. Some people said 10 million. Yeah. Some people said... So if you think of the like middle of passage... People, yeah, well, you know, who kept records? But you look and see how many people died in those ships, how many people committed suicide, jumped off the boats, mm -hmm. how many people were rounded up and never made it to the ports, and then how many generations were cut off you have. It's a nation. It's a real nation. Nations upon nations who did not live. And, of course, if you think that the people who did arrive and did stay alive were the strongest and the toughest, I mean, they lasted. Yeah. Then you have this race of these sort of giants here in the country. But what was really interesting, me, interesting to me was um, there was no lore about the Middle Passage. Yes. There were no songs about it. There were no poems about it. There are contemporary poems, but it didn't survive in spirituals and gospels except obliquely, as though these people had to do something extremely important, which was to forget that in order to get on with the next day. I and mean, if you're going to survive and be around for your children, you just can't stay there. You just can't dwell there in the past. But that was a survivalist technique. But at the same time, uh, it's as though those people have never been mourned properly. Was it hard to come to another 